When the bitter cold of winter is over and the thaw of spring arrives, the bear crawls fearlessly out of her cave to cultivate her land and prepare for the growing season. First, she must overturn her dirt. She buries her paws deep into the earth, feeling its cool, radiating energy, for she knows that this earth will grow her stock for next winter. She spends many sunsets doing this. It may appear tedious, but it is the most important step. Once the ground is turned and has had some time to settle, the bear begins to make her rows and mounds. She carefully plots every inch of her space. She drops the seeds into the ground one by one. Her back gets sore and her legs grow weary, yet sunset after sunset she works. Fruits, vegetables, herbs, flowers, everything has its place. After some time, the bear grows tiresome. She decides to take a nap beneath a nearby willow. On her first deep breath, she notices the sky is starting to swell. The first spring rain is on its way. What a perfect time for a nap. As the bear sleeps, she dreams of what her garden will become. Tall stalks of corn, berry bushes that crawl to the horizon, and the juiciest tomatoes you could ever hope to see. She dreams of her cave walls being lined with sprigs of fresh lavender, mints, and dill for pickling. She has such joy seeing all the bundles of sage, cedar, and sweetgrass drying for smudges. The same smudges that she will take to the flower gardens and burn while she dances with the fairies on the hot summer's eve. The wine she will make from the grapes of Maboon will go great with the festivities of Samhain night. When the bear awakens, the sky has cleared and the sun shines warm and bright. She goes to her garden to look upon its progress. She sees that her hard work has paid off and the great mother has blessed her this year. Her favorite, a field of daisies, grown tall and plentiful. The bear can't help herself. She runs to embrace the daisies. Their soft, gentle, white petals are like silk across her coarse palms and feet. The aroma is transcending, and even the bees cannot bother her now. She lays in the field surrounded by the comfort of her daisies until the moon of the harvest. For now, it is time again for work. The Great Mother always provides if you put in what is necessary. The bear collects the rewards of her early spring work. Melons, pumpkins, squash, and gourds. Apples, honey, grapes, and wine. All of the jams, preserves, salsas, and relish will bring comfort in the long nights ahead. The pantries fill and the bear is pleased. She has more than enough to make it through the next winter. She hung some flowers to dry so that even during the darkness of Yuletide, she will have the raw and undefined essence of the daisies, not only in her view, but also in her heart. The days become shorter and the moon draws near. The bear knows that the snow is coming. The brisk chill of fall now has bite, so the bear crawls back into her cave to prepare her hearth for another long winter. The season has been plentiful. She will eat, sleep, and find comfort in all that she has obtained. When she is finished, she makes her way to her warm and cozy bed. She lay with her head on the pillow and falls fast asleep to dream of spring and the garden it will bring.